Some of them journeyed there last night, and it wasn't for fireworks, and it wasn't for music. It was for a legendary mashup of meats and spices and a cereal grain. Let us explore the great enigma that is Geta. Have you ever had somebody come in from out of town? You get up in the morning, you say, let's have some Geta, and they just give you that look, and then you try to explain what Geta is, but you're not really sure you explained it right. Well, we decided to come to a place where we could find out how to explain it right. It consists of pork, beef, steel cut oats, herbs, and spices. Boom! Simple, but certainly not very widespread. If you go to Indy right now and you tell them Geta, they go, huh? They've never heard of it. Never heard of it, never tried. Still, while Dan Gleer, president of Gleer's Meats, knows Geta might not be a worldwide thing yet, it is most definitely one of our things. I think you look at the players that are Cincinnati things like Montgomery Inn or Grader's Ice Cream or Skyline Chili or one of those. Uh, so Getta just came in and went in to be a Cincinnati thing. But how did that happen? For that answer, we turn to another Dan, food etymologist Dan Wellert. This guy literally wrote the book on Getta. And the story starts with peasants making the most of things in Germany. There is a, a large legacy of what are called grain sausages in German Grutzwurst that come out of northwestern Germany that I've designated the Geta parallelogram. It's almost a perfect parallelogram um, bounded by four towns, Oldenburg, Munster, Hanover, and Hamburg. And within that parallelogram is where all these uh, immigrants came that had all these different types of uh, grain sausages. And that's how you end up with Geta cousins in different regions of the U.S., like Scrapple, Livermush, German Grits. But in our neck of the woods, it's only Geta that'll really get you. It's German soul food. From the scraps left for German peasants to delicacies fit for a queen city. It's Geta. And as Dan Gleer says, regardless of where someone is from, just get them to try it. The international language is Geta. <laughs> the international language is Geta. Yeah. Wow, I like that. Now, important to note here, while Geta is most certainly a Cincinnati thing, Gleer's is located in Covington. And Finky's Butcher Shop, which is now in Park Hills in that area, way back when was also in Mainstrasse in Covington. And according to Dan Wellert's research, Finky's was likely first around here to make Geta all the way back in 1872. So a little love for the Cub as possibly being Geta's birthplace. Gleer's Geta Fest again runs through this weekend and next Thursday through Sunday at Newport's Festival Park at the Levee. And so far, Leah has only had it on pizza. There are so many glorious mm. ways to enjoy Geta. I hope you get to do it sort of as it's traditionally, but you get some eggs, get, get some hash browns, have you some Geta, you're gonna be so happy. That's the traditional way. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, okay. Eggs and cheese on there. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> so, so good. So good. All right, it's 920. A new album for Beyonce, A Walk.